by the way the code you can see here is from the previous video so make sure to watch it, that video first so these things make sense okay first of all I want to change the color of the background of the display so I will call this I will keep this inside a variable this time from which we made the height and width of the display I, I will keep that inside a variable called display and then I will say display.fill and then in the two brackets I will say the color which I am going to fill in RGB which will be 255, 255, 255 that means white and afterwards I will do pygame.display.update it is important to do this every time you make a change to the display and why we keep two brackets here because these are its integers if we had a variable made here called y and if I had 255 255 255 inside it then I wouldn't have needed two brackets just one bracket and y would have done let's see let's run this and as you can see we see white background so far so good now we'll make a rectangle on the display so now for that i will tap pygame dot draw dot rec and then the surface on which this rectangle will get displayed which is our display and then we have to give the color of the rectangle I will make a variable for it again I will call it green let's not keep it here then ok green because green will look good with white I guess now you know this is R this is G and this is B red, green and blue so green just means that R will be 0 but the green will be 255 and the blue will be 0 too and let's write green here then we will have to make more variables for this rectangle one will be the rectangle's x position which I will keep 50 the rectangle's y position which will be 52 and the size of the rectangle size x that means ok first let me make size y too size y ok what that x means is the position of the rectangle like this like horizontally how far it is it from the top most corner and then there is rect y which is this one this vertical length of it from the top most corner and then we have size x which is the length of the rectangle and size y which is the height of the rectangle let's put these values here I will use brackets we will say rect x rect y size x and size y again I will do pygame.display.update to keep the display updated let's run this and as you can see we see a green rectangle on the screen looking good so far by the way guys if you want me to make more of such videos then make sure to give this video a like so it can spread to more people ok anyways now let us add some events to this which every single event will be inside of our game loop ok so the type of the event will be key down so if event.type 
this this time it won't be tiger dot page this time it will be key dot down so tiger dot key down and inside it okay the key is down but that means i have pressed the key there is another one which is key up that means i have pressed the key and i have lifted my finger from it but its effects may be seen a little later which we don't want we want it to be key down so the key is down but which key is down that we will know inside this so then we will say if event if key is equal to okay if event dot key is equal to by game dot key left then we will do right x minus equals 10 See if this runs. I'm pressing the key, but nothing is happening. Now it is working. Okay, so the problem there was this rectangle which you draw should be inside the loop, inside the while loop, not the for loop. So you have to make sure it is and the and the easier thing to do is keep this pagan or this state of the state at the end of the loop so it keeps running again and again so you don't have to call it again and again now let's quickly write for the other keys if event.key is equal to pi again dot k right then we do rect x plus equals 10 that means we add to the x coordinate the position of the rectangle if event dot key is equal to pi game dot k up then we do rect y plus equals 10 if event dot key is equal to pi game dot k down then we do rect y minus equals 10 let's run this And as you can see but 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 if i'm pressing the down key it is going up if i'm pressing the up key it's going down for the left right is it is good so change this to minus and this to plus now it should be all good and it is as you can see the rectangle is moving in all four directions however you want it to be based on the keys you press so guys this was it for today with today's video hope you liked it and if you liked it don't forget to subscribe my channel and click the bell icon thanks for watching see you guys next time bye